Converge or diverge, here we have the series when n goes from 1 to infinity, cosine of 1 over n. And maybe you have seen the previous video about the series of sine of 1 over n. Likewise, the series of sine of 1 over n squared. Those right here, we will use the limit comparison test. And maybe we can do the same thing right here, isn't it? But we don't have to do that right here. The only thing that we have to do is take the limit of cosine of 1 over n. That's it. Let me show you. So we are going to check, and this is the right out for it. As n goes to infinity, here I just have to put down n because I don't need to do a L'Hopital's rule. I'm just looking for the a n. Remember, this is the sequence, right? The sequence formula, cosine of 1 over n. One, cosine of 1 over n, right? I'm not using L'Hopital's rule. I'm just going to check as n goes to infinity of that. Let me write it down. Cosine of 1 over n. This right here will approach to... I can plug in infinity here, right? Cosine of 1 over infinity. I know 1 over infinity is 0, so I can put on cosine of 0 right here for you guys. And cosine of 0 is equal to what? 1. In this case, we have 1. Well, what are we doing? When we take the limit as n goes to infinity of this expression only, right? We are trying to do the test for divergence. As long as this limit is not... 0, we can draw a conclusion. 1 is certainly not 0. Therefore, we can draw a conclusion that this right here diverges, right? So, here is the conclusion. We are going to say that the series of n goes from 1 to infinity, cosine of 1 over n. This right here diverges. And let me spell it out because this right here is so cool. This right here diverges by the test for divergence, right? By the test for divergence. That's it. Always, always check the limit of this expression as n goes to infinity. As long as we don't get 0, we can draw conclusion right away. Earlier, we got 1, which is not 0. We can draw conclusion. We can say it's the test for divergence. And this is the type of question that I wish to have if I'm a student, right? I wish to have 20 of these kind of questions on my final exam because it's just so nice. Anyway, that's it.